Hey everybody, it's Zipic, and welcome back to another Rust base build. Today we're going to be going over the small group base that I built. Made for 2-4 to four players, it's an insanely strong design, will set the Raider back at least 27 rockets just to get to the TC. It uses a triangle roof bunker to guarantee the maximum strength to the core of your base, and also uses two of my older unlootable loot room designs from a couple years back, and finally combining all of that with a sealed off dropbox bunker, and you'll have one of the strongest bases on the server. Now really quickly before the base tour starts, I want to say thank you to all the recent subscribers and comments. If you like what you see, it's only one click to subscribe and it really helps me out. Thanks guys. Alright guys, so heading up to our front door, you guys can see we have an auto turret slot. There's actually three of them surrounding the base, covering every direction an enemy can come from. Going through our airlock, we have a repair bench, two small boxes, and our shop front to see outside enemies. We're also going to go through our garage door path and we'll see our bedroom. And also, if we look up into the ceiling, we'll have three drop boxes of storage. If we continue following the path, we'll get to our furnaces and also our research table. We have a few bags here for our less active members of the group. Underneath, we have another large box, of course. To the right, we have our drop down from the roof, guarded by a flame turret. We'll come to the left in just a minute. For now, let's head upstairs. There are quite a few doors going to the roof, so you don't have to worry about any raiders coming down through here. There's a locker up here and a few furnaces, as well as another drop down guarded by a flame turret. On the roof, you can see there's plenty of space to expand and add in shooting floors. We'll head back downstairs, and you guys can get the look of the rest of the base. Going through the left side of our door, we get our first loot room. Four boxes, and also two boxes on top in the honeycomb. We'll continue through the next door. And here you guys can see the outer auto turret slot doors. So if we close these, you'll notice you'll hear from the inside. That's the garage doors closing. And if I was to flip this garage door to the other one, we can also close this door as well. Opening up the next door, we'll have another loot room on top for some decent loot. And beneath that, of course, we have our bunker. This is very secure, and even if we were to pick this, we wouldn't get anywhere with the base. If we had some grenades and we threw them in through this door, we cannot bounce them far enough back into where the twig is, so there's no worries about breaking this twig with any sort of rockets or explosive ammo. Alright, so now down in the bunker, you guys can see we can demolish this twig. The rest of the roof will all disappear. We have two small boxes underneath and an easy ladder to get access to the rest of our base. Down here we have our tier 3, small box underneath, and our first unlootable loot room. Now of course the top ones are all lootable, there's nothing special with any of these, but the bottom ones are very different. This is actually my design from a couple of years ago. Basically when these locked boxes are broken, all the loot bags will fall as close as they can to my feet, which in this case, because they cannot jump over this window frame, it will be right underneath this floor. It's a great way to hide all of your loot, and I'm surprised it still hasn't been patched this many years later. Okay, let's continue on through the next door. On the left, we have some vending machines behind another glass window, so you guys can see we can access those here. And again, on the right, we have another unlootable loot room. Now this one is a little bit different, and I'll explain why in just a moment. Now you guys may have been wondering where our TC is in this base, because we have not yet seen that. And we'll go ahead and pretend we came back from a roam just now. This box is a little bit special, as you'll see I'll put all my best loot in there. And we'll go ahead and spawn in our actual bunker. Alright, now spawn in one of these two bags, we'll go ahead and open up the garage door so you guys get a better idea of what's happening down here. We have five large boxes of space on this side, another one beside the TC, here's the upkeep to the base. Obviously the HQM cost is quite a bit, but it can be switched out for metal frags very easily. And as you guys probably already guessed, our MP5 loadout that we just deposited from upstairs is right here in this drop box. It's a great way to transport all of your loot and overall is super secure. Now, one more secret bag behind all of that. You may notice there's a small box back there. You may wonder how we get to it. And I would recommend only the base builder or maybe your active player have this bag. But if we spawn in the sleeping bag, notice we have access to the small box and we can store all of our rockets or boom in this box here. Now, with all that said, guys, I think it's about time we get right into the base build. All right, guys, let's get right into the video by building up our starter base. Use the bird's eye view footprint that I give you here to build in the starting foundations. Also, we can upgrade all of these to stone for now. 
Place half walls in these three spots and full walls covering the rest of the foundations, leaving out the exception of three of them, which we will leave blank for now and fill in later on. We'll upgrade all of these walls to stone and also work on adding in our door frame. Add half walls to complete the side on the bottom right and then add roof pieces on top of all the other squares and triangle. Leave the last roof piece in wood because we're going to need to pick it out later on. Also at this point we can add in our roof and then finally a sheet metal door. Now coming around to the back corner of our base we're going to place in a wall but we're just going to leave it in twig right now. We can place in a box right up against this wall then add in a wooden double door frame. We can place in the garage door and the reason we're leaving it wood is so it has a little bit of a size difference that way we can fit in our third uh, box in that little slot. Once you guys have all three boxes in there, go ahead and uh, you guys can place in the bags in too. And then we're going to upgrade the frame to stone and also demolish out that wall. And even if you guys are planning to play solo, I would still recommend placing in two bags because you will not be able to place in the second one once the roof is down. Obviously try to get this part done as fast as possible because we want to get our TC down fast. Notice we're going to place in a raised half wall and then also our roof piece in stone. We can place a bag if you guys want it in the very far back corner as well as a small box. And then add in the TC as far back and also as far into the square as possible. And then if you guys want a temporary airlock we can place in a floor piece as well as a wooden wall which we'll pick out later on. Then you guys can put in a double door frame and a sheet metal double door which will act as a temporary airlock. Alright, whenever we're ready to move on, we'll go ahead and remove the sheet metal level door and pick out the wooden wall that we placed. I'm also going to go ahead and upgrade all of the lower metal uh, foundations, but of course we can do this later on as well. And now let's go to the bird's eye view map again and build in all of our outer foundations. We're going to start by upgrading all of the outside ones to stone and then we can upgrade all the inner ones to metal. And that includes anything that's touching the bunker, so that square that's in the open should also be fully metal. Now let's go around the entire base and add in metal honeycomb on, again, any wall that touches our bunker. If you guys ever need to see the build cost at any point in the video, it will normally be on the right hand side in the middle. Now that we're done upgrading all of our metal pieces on the inside, we're going to go around the base and find all of our triangle honeycomb and upgrade all of that with stone. We'll head up to the second floor of our base and then we'll begin building in all of the outside roof pieces. So whenever it is you guys have a metal wall facing into what will be your bunker, we're going to place a roof facing inward to this metal so no one can access it. Don't forget to put in a wall on the side, just like this, upgrade that to stone, and the roof can also be stone. And on these walls where we have two metal, we're just going to simply seal it off with two walls. Now we're going to finish up the upper roof floor by going around and honeycombing all of the outer edges. And anything on the inside is going to be metal. And there we go. Now with that said, we can build in all of our auto turret slots. So let's go around the base, starting by this door right here. If you guys can, make this wall to metal. This one can just be stone. Coming off from the first auto turret slot we built in, we're going to place two door frames. And attempt to upgrade this wall here to armored. In our first square room, we'll have a shop front. And this door path will follow around all the way until it connects up with our second auto turret. And this wall can just be metal. Since this side is a little bit weaker, we could upgrade this to metal, but I'm going to ignore it for now. 
We'll also follow around and finish off the rest of the wall honeycomb on the base. We'll create our roof floor access right here. And right here we'll also create a few drop box rooms. These will all be metal. And same with this box here. These ones here can just be sealed off, but we're actually going to use full walls instead of half walls because it'll help contribute to building our roof later on. Now let's fill in all the roof pieces. And all these back ones here can just be stone. We'll also go ahead and finish off the side honeycomb. Both of the side walls should be metal. And this last slot here, which looks like it should be an auto turret slot, will actually just be honeycomb since it's going to lead right down to our bunker. We'll finish this off with a metal wall as well. Now let's continue on with our roof. Again, all the outer ones will be stone and all the inner ones metal. And right here we're going to leave open for now. If you guys want, you guys can build in this triangle piece. That's because we're going to have some drop boxes up there later on. Right here, like I said, will be our roof access. Let's build that in now. And just leave it like this. We'll finish it off later on. Now to finish off the rest of the half walls for all of the roof, we're gonna go around and avoid any auto turret slot. So anything other than the auto turrets are gonna be built up one more half wall higher. Of course, all in stone. And I also like to avoid uh, this honeycomb right next to our front door auto turret. And you guys don't have to go crazy with the honeycomb inside here. Save yourself some resources and just leave it open. And now let's go around, honeycomb a few bits just around the metal sections of the base. And then we can seal everything off. And right here we'll leave this open as a drop down. Upgrade all of the following walls to metal and the other ones to stone. Again, leaving this one out because we're gonna have some boxes in here. We can actually seal that off right now. And we'll go in here and finish this off as well. Just leave that one open. Go. go ahead and grab our boxes we can place one right at the front make sure it's on the very front of that triangle and then two on either side of the back just like that and then seal it off with a floor and at this point the outside of the base is completely finished let's hop down to the core and continue on building and of course we're also going to add in all the important doors just to avoid getting deep while we're working on our base We'll add in the garage doors now, but obviously you guys can add them in over time as well. Now obviously I'm sure you guys are wondering why this is still wood, so let's go ahead and fix that right now. We'll head down to our bunker, and I'm also going to replace this door with an armored one right now. And let's begin upgrading everything to its final grade, and then we'll pick this out and begin with our loot rooms. We'll upgrade the bottom ones here to metal. Anything that is touching the ground, just like this. Just in this section here. And then anything above it should be armor. You guys can leave uh, these ones metal though. The door frame as well should be metal. And you guys can metal up all of the roof pieces. 
Now I'm going to leave this wall open for now, just for easy access to the TC. But whenever you feel ready, we can go ahead and wall this off as well. And now let's go ahead and upgrade all the important foundations in our bunker. We'll upgrade all of these walls to armor as well, including the roof. And with all this complete, we can now pick out the wooden floor we placed in earlier. Now with all that said and done, we can build in our unlootable loot rooms. This is a design I created a few years back. Evil Worst actually featured my design on his channel in one of his base builds, and I'll leave that in the top right if you guys want to go take a look. Now a few important things to note before I place these in. I use the rugs to elevate the boxes, because you'll see here they are a little bit glitchy when I'm trying to place them on the roof, and they don't normally place in. So we're going to use the rugs to elevate them just a little bit, overlap them just like this, about halfway on the roof, and now the box will move very smoothly. We'll place them about halfway down, and make sure the code lock portion of it is facing the middle. This is because we're going to lock both of these boxes, and that is very important. We'll also put in a small box right in between, but make sure you guys can pick up those rugs afterwards since we're going to need them for one more loot room. Alright, now with those placed in, we can go ahead and lock them with code locks. These are very critical in protecting our loot of the base. And we'll go ahead and seal off the roof now that this is all complete. Armor it up, and also armor in these half walls as well. We'll use metal on the floor piece right here. We'll place in a wall, metal as well. And we'll go ahead and build in our little catch room. Basically, when the locked box is broken, the loot bag will go as close as it can to the player. However, since the loot bag cannot jump over top of these half walls, it will go down beneath their feet, and it will end up landing right underneath here. So they're gonna have to spend another eight rockets just to get the loot. Now continuing on, we can upgrade all of these important floor pieces here. We'll upgrade them all to metal. And don't forget to add in this one underneath as well. And it should be hard side facing your bunker. Uh, if you guys want vending machines, we can add those in afterwards here. But for now, let's add in the roof piece for a second loot room. Upgrade that to metal. And do the exact same steps as we did before. Okay, so now we can add in the floor piece right above here, and also our half wall on top. This allows us to fit in a second loot room right above this. We'll put in two large boxes, small, and then also we can fit in a small box on both sides, just like this. Let's can seal this off now. Don't forget the top ones are not uh, unlootable, so if they are broken, they will give all the loot to the raider, so definitely put your most valuable stuff in these four boxes here. Now if you guys want a vending machine or two, you guys can fit those right here. I'll show you guys how to place in two, obviously one is quite simple, but you'll notice the roof blocks the second one. So yeah, you can fit in two, but you just have to do it very carefully. Watch where the corner of my vending machine lines up. Obviously you cannot pick up any machines, so you gotta get this right on the first try. Just like that. And the second one should fit diagonally right up in this corner here just like that and as long as they are just a little bit over that middle line of the two um, roof pieces we should be able to fit in this frame just like this create us a metal make sure you guys disable broadcasting on both of those of course, we'll seal those up with some glass windows, just like that. And because these boxes are both locked, we can go ahead and place in a low wall and armor it up. Uh, if you guys want to be even more secure, obviously upgrade these two to armored, but I'm not going to worry about that too much right now since it'll basically be the same cost, uh, just breaking down through the half wall or something like that. Uh, right now, we'll go ahead and finish up inside here. So as long as we have everything to its final grade, we can seal this off place in a box just like this and then also a low wall again and that one can just go to sheet metal and yes I know some people are going to comment about this you can actually access this large box you just have to be standing up straight put your mouse down here and you have no issues we'll go ahead and seal off this wall now upgrade it to armor 
place in a floor triangle just like this, put it to stone, and you guys can actually fit three boxes on top, one, two, and three, but I'm only going to place in two. I played with this base for a wipe, and I found it was very crowded. If you have three boxes down here, especially if there's two people with bags who are spawning in, um, so I like to have just two boxes, and I found that was lots of space. Overall, six large boxes down here for all your best loot. That's quite a bit. And so that is going to be the end of the bottom bunker area. So we can go ahead and fly back upstairs, and we'll continue on up there. All right, now upstairs, we can finish off this last frame. Put some garage doors in here. And we'll get our level three down right next to our armor door and glass window. And sadly, we can no longer rotate the level three workbenches, but that's all right. We'll just place in one small box underneath. And then of course, we'll get in our very important um, bags here in our bunker. We're gonna need these to spawn in. These are very important. You guys can put a few more if you need them back here. Okay, we'll head upstairs. And something else I added was uh, two small boxes in the little drop down here, just for a bit more extra storage. Maybe you put your ceiling mats for the bunker in, in these uh, boxes here. That is definitely a good spot for them. And something else, if you guys are having issues getting up this jump here, it's kind of difficult. Sometimes you have to sprint it a little bit and run up the side. So if you guys are having trouble with that, you may just want to get a ladder and place it in against the wall here. You'll have no issues and it does not break the ladder when you demolish the bunker, which is nice. So in our front door, I like to have our repair bench and two small boxes. This way we can see who's outside our front door going through a couple more you guys have your drop boxes and i like to fit in my two beds here this is personal preference obviously you guys don't need beds for a base this size but it's just uh if you guys have them they're definitely useful if you're getting online rated or something like that so we're going to place those in uh, we can get a few furnaces in this room of course only if you guys need them it's all up to you look at those now and in this room here, we're going to place in our research table and also a large box. Under our drop down, we'll get a flame turret. And if we hop upstairs, like this, we have a bit more room. So personally, I like to fit a locker up here, just like this. And then a couple furnaces. And then underneath my drop down, of course, another flame turret to avoid getting beeped. And make sure you guys lock this locker up if you're going to have it up here. Okay, let's head back downstairs. Again, more bags if you guys need it here. And in here is going to be our first loot room. So we're going to place in two boxes on top. You may need to close that garage door. Just like that two boxes and then in this room i like to have four large boxes all stacked around and for this you may need to upgrade these two frames to metal and there we go we now have all of these boxes down we can also go up here and place in a few more you guys can even do three boxes up here if you want to have one in the back and one forward but i'm just going to have a simple two boxes on either side with a couple large uh, small boxes in the back. Just like this. And for whatever reason, some servers don't let you seal it from down below. So you may have to seal it from up here. So that's why we're gonna need this space open. Um, I noticed that a few vanilla servers let me seal it from down here in the bunker. But then for whatever reason, a few other servers did not let me seal it from down underneath. So I had to go up here and seal it. Either way, it does work. But um, you guys may have to mess around with exactly what position you're sealing the bunker. And at this point, guys, the base is now complete. And again, I showed you guys this in the building tour, but there are quite a few of these garage doors. If you don't have electricity set up yet, you can still close some of them through the wall. Notice this one here, for example. If you flip this garage door, you can get both of them. And the same thing goes for over here. Again, flip this garage door, you guys can access both of them. And of course, I'm gonna seal it once so everyone knows exactly what to do. So as we log off, we're gonna place in the twig. And again, you guys can see here, I am able to seal it from the inside but upgrade this to metal, close the door and lock off. And 
in the morning, wake up, demolish it, and everything will break. But sometimes, of course, we have issues where we were not able to place that in. So, twig, and then hop up here like this, and then get the roof triangle in, and upgrade it just like this. Don't forget to close the door. And there you guys go. Both are sealed. One, of course, you still have to spawn inside your bunker to open it, but that's not a big deal.